Hi everyone. When we finished chapter four yesterday, Jack was in the rainforest at night in a big storm. He couldn't find Annie anywhere. He couldn't see, so he decided to wait until morning to keep searching. So as we start chapter five, um, which is called Silverback, Jack is still in the rainforest. Jack felt something tugging on his sleeve. He opened his eyes. Bah, bah, the small gorilla was staring at him in the dawn light. Jack stood up. His arms and legs felt stiff and achy. His wet clothes stuck to his skin. He looked around the cloud forest. Misty sunlight shined through the tree branches. Where is Annie? He asked the small gorilla. Baba waved her arms. Then she bounded off between the trees. Jack pulled on his backpack and followed. As the small gorilla led him through the cloud forest, his head bobbed above the leafy plants. Finally, she stopped before a row of shrubs. Jack took a few steps forward and peeked over the shrubs. Oh man, he whispered. Large dark figures were sleeping in an open grassy area. Gorillas. There were at least 10 of them. Some slept on their backs and some slept on their bellies. The gorillas were all sizes. The smallest was a baby sleeping in its mother's arms. The biggest was a giant with black and silver fur. Jack pulled the book out of his backpack. He found a chapter on gorillas and he read, Mountain gorillas live together in families. The leader of the family is a large male called a silverback because he has silver fur on his back and shoulders. Gorillas do not hunt other animals. They mainly eat the plant growth of the forest. They are known to be shy and gentle giants. Shy and gentle giants, Jack repeated. That sounded really good. He peered over the shrubs again. Bubba waved at him. She was standing at the far edge of the clearing. She pointed to something in the tall grass. Annie was fast asleep in the grass. Jack didn't know what to do. If he called her name, the gorillas would wake up. He had only one choice. He had to sneak over to her. Jack put his book into his backpack. He pushed past the shrubs and stepped into the clearing. His heart was pounding. He thought of the words from the book. Shy and gentle giants. As he started toward Annie, he heard a grunt. The giant gorilla with silver fur opened his eyes. When the gorilla saw Jack, he sat up. Jack stopped in his tracks. The gorilla just glared. This giant did not seem shy or gentle at all. Jack saw a stick lying on the ground, so he picked it up, just in case. Jack's stick made the gorilla growl. He stood up. He was really tall and very wide. Jack dropped his stick. Bubba ran and hid behind the trees. The silverback growled again. His long, shaggy arms touched the ground and his fingers curled underneath. Walking on his knuckles, he stepped toward Jack. Jack stepped back. The gorilla stepped forward. Jack stepped back again. The gorilla stepped, kept stepping forward. Jack kept stepping back until he had stepped out of the clearing. But the silverback kept coming. Jack stumbled back through the brush until he came to a thick wall of plants. The gorilla kept coming. Jack couldn't move back anymore. Uh, hi, he said nervously. He held up his hand. I come in before Jack could say peace. The giant gorilla went crazy. He hooted and leaped to his feet. Jack crouched down in panic. The gorilla kept hooting. He grabbed a tree limb and he shook it wildly and he ripped leaves from the branches. He gnashed his teeth and he cupped his hands and beat his chest. Rah! He roared. Rah! The gorilla dropped on all fours and he charged back and forth past Jack. Then he threw himself on his belly and he began bashing the ground with his palms. He bashed and bashed and bashed. Jack scrambled on his hands and knees over to a tree and he hid behind the trunk, hugging his head. He waited for the maniac gorilla to find him and tear him to pieces. Chapter six. Good morning, gorillas. The pounding ended. There was silence. A long silence. Jack opened his eyes. He peeked around the tree. 
The silverback was sitting on the ground. His lips were curved in a smile. He actually looked pleased with himself. Was his whole act a fake? Jack wondered. Jack didn't know whether to be scared or to laugh. The only thing he did know was he still had to get to Annie. Jack pulled out the research book. He found the gorilla chapter again and he read, To safely get close to gorillas in the wild, it's wise to act like a gorilla yourself. Crouch down and rest on your knuckles like a gorilla. Keep your head down and act friendly. Jack packed up his research book. He put his pack on his back and then he went down on his knees. <sighs> Jack took a deep breath. He smiled a friendly smile. Pressing down on his knuckles, he moved out from behind the tree. His fingers hurt as he walked on them. The silverback grunted. Jack didn't look up. He kept smiling a friendly smile as he crawled through the brush toward the clearing. When he got to the edge of the clearing, he glanced back. The giant gorilla was following him. He was frowning, but he didn't seem about to attack. So Jack kept going. He moved into the clearing and then he stopped. More gorillas were waking up. A large gorilla hugged Bubba as if to com comfort her. When Bubba saw Jack, she screeched joyfully. All the other gorillas turned to look at him. They made nervous sounds. Jack's heart was still pounding, but he just smiled his friendly smile and kept crawling. He crawled around the gorillas and over to Annie. Wake up, he said, shaking her. Annie yawned and then opened her eyes. Oh, hi, she said. Are you okay? asked Jack. Sure, she said. She sat up and looked around. <gasps> she gasped. The gorillas were staring at Jack and Annie with bright, darting eyes. The silverback stared the hardest. Oh, wow, said Annie. A joyful smile crossed her face. Good morning, gorillas. And that's the end of chapter six. I'll see you guys tomorrow.